The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. I'm going to show you how to get started on the side elevation of the cabin project, which is our final project in the technical drafting book. It's in chapter 12. And let's see, I'm actually just going to follow the steps that you see in the book. There's actually screenshots of kind of a step-by-step -step of how you actually do the the get started on that side elevation. We're going to start off by drawing the stud and then we'll draw the roof pitch and then we're going to mirror it over. I'm going to do it a little bit differently than you see in the book. When it comes time to mirror it, I've got a pretty cool little command that I do for that and I think my way's even cooler than what you see in the book. So. Um, Stay tuned for that. The first step that we need to do though is to go ahead and draw that stud. So I'm going to do a rectangle. And it's a 2 by 4 which is what's called a nominal size. The actual size of a 2 by 4 is 3.5 by 1.5 or 1.5 by 3.5 instead of 2 inches by 4 inches. So I'm going to draw it at 3.5 by 1.5. And anytime you see a little stud like this, 2 by 4 coming at you, you have a little X on it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that X on there. It gives me another distance for the stud. The total height of this thing, it says, is 8 foot 1 and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it again, another rectangle. This time it's going to be 3 and a half along the X, and then 8 foot 1 and a half along the Y. So I've got this stud here. I've got two more of these 2x4s up at the top, so I'm going to copy them. Let's see, I'll copy and use the top corner as the base point. And I'll paste it here, paste it here, and I've got it. Double check your size before you get too far. You can just highlight over that grip and just make sure it's 3 and a half by 8 foot 1 and a half. Now that I've got it drawn the size that I need it, I'm going to go ahead and draw my roof pitch. I'm going to start at this corner here, just like it shows in the picture. And this roof is a 1012, so I'm going to come over 12 inches, and I'm going to come up 10 inches. And then the easiest thing to do is just type C for close, and it just draws that little angle exactly the, the, the pitch that I need it. I don't need these lines anymore. Those were just construction lines. And the next thing it asked me to do is the offset command. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to offset it to get that rafter. I'm going to do 8 inches and then I'm going to do 10 inches. So I'm going to do the offset command. 10 inches here to here. Offset again. 8 inches here to here. So I've got the roof pitch. It's looking good. I need to do the roof overhang now. So what I'm going to do is another offset. It says my overhang is 1 foot 6 inches. So I'm going to do an offset of 1 foot 6. And this is going to look a little weird because I'm offsetting. I used a rectangle for this. If you wanted to explode this and not have the full rectangle offset, that's fine. I'm going to just erase out that rectangle when I'm done. But I'm going to go ahead and do the extend command. And I will extend to that rectangle all three of those lines. So this measurement here is 1 foot 6. So I'm just going to draw a line now. It doesn't really matter what the distance is, but I'm going to press tab and make it 45 degrees. And that way I can extend these two lines to that one, like that. Trim out what I don't need. And erase this. That was just something to get me started. You might double check yourself and just make sure this really does measure out 1 foot 6 inches. Looks good. Alright, so this is the part where I mix it up a little from where the book has, what the book asks you to do. The book wants you to draw a line from here at 12 feet. And then it wants you to draw a line straight up and then extend these uh, lines for the roof up to your new vertical line. And I'm actually going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to do the mirror command. I will select the whole thing mirror straight along this line. Do not erase your original source. So I've got it looking like this. Now check this out. I'm going to do the fillet command. Be sure to type R enter for radius. Make sure your radius is set to zero. And then I've got multiple fillets that I'm going to do. So I'll do M enter for multiple. Click here. Click here. And look, it brings it to a perfect point. Is that fabulous or what? Alright. Top one. 
Looking good. All right, so we've got that first part done. The next thing we need to do, I'm flipping the page here, is the smaller, the 412 pitch. So the book tells me to go ahead and take this stud right here and copy it over a distance of 8 feet. And then we're going to do that same roof pitch type trick. So we're going to come over 12. This is a 412 though, so we'll only go up 4 inches. C for close. Got that pitch. I'm going to do my offset of 1 foot 6. And extend. Oh, I've got a couple more offsets to do to get that actual ra rafter. Got my 10 inch and my 8 inch and then I'll extend to these. Alright, looking good. Don't need this anymore. I'm going to draw a line from here. And it needs to be a 45 degree line, but when I'm going that far over, it's actually 135 degrees. And I can extend to here. Not 100. Is that right? That just doesn't look right. This needs to go perpendicular. There we go. What angle is that? 108 degrees. Okay. All right. So this looks good. Oh, it's not 145 because it's not a perfect pitch. Um, all right. So we've got that. The next thing I want to do is go back to my fillet command. And what I ended up doing, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't say it when I was doing it, but I just started a line here and I snapped up to perpendicular. That's, the, that's how you kind of solve that problem there. So I'm going to come back to my fillet with a radius of 0, m for multiple, and then watch this. I just click on that line and click anywhere above where it's going to kind of come together. And I've got it. I don't need this anymore. That just kind of was a construction line to help me through here. And I'll just take this, extend it all the way to the end. I'm going to go ahead and do the foundation while I'm here. So I'm going to do an offset of 18 inches. I don't think the book says that, but there's a help sheet that tells you. Here to here. Here to here. And I've got at least the, the side view, the side elevation view is at least started. Now what I need to do after this is project my, where my windows are going to be, where my doors are going to be. I need to do that chimney, but this is a really good start.